Mr. Stevens. Yes, I'd like to invite uh, Tori and uh, Janelle to come up really quickly. Miss, uh, turn your microphone on. I'm sorry. Sometime, yeah. uh, Janelle and Tori are our legal interns. Uh, I know. And they've, they've still managed to stay with us in spite of the fact that you made them explain complicated lit litigation amazing? history uh, yeah. at the last meeting. They explained yes. it to me. Showing that you're a mean guy. I am. In, very in mean. So, um, <laughs> me? That's right. So uh, each of them are going to present uh, for probably a minute or two um, very succinctly on a couple cases that uh, okay. Who's going first? to the Delta plan. All right, you guys. I guess I'm going Scat first. Scatter. Yes. So I have two issues I'd like to bring to your attention this morning. Um, the first you might have already heard about involving DWR's eminent domain proceedings. That's within the Delta. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so DWR made attempts to obtain drilling easements necessary for garnering geotechnical information needed for the BDCP alternative conveyance system. In September, DWR filed motions in San Joaquin, Yolo, Sacramento, and Contra Costa counties um, for prejudgment possession, which would basically allow them to start drilling before uh, the eminent domain um, controversy is um, decided. Uh, the superior courts of each county has denied DWR's motions, uh, which basically just means that they're going to have to wait till a later date, probably in spring, to start um, getting the information that they need. We'll continue to monitor that case. The next is a water quality dispute um, involving a petition from the Sacramento Regional County Sanitation District to the State Water Resources Control Board. The Central Valley Regional Water Quality Control Board issued a water discharge permit to the Sacramento Regional County Sanitation District back in December of 2010. The permit authorizes discharges from the district's Sacramento Regional Wastewater Treatment Plant to the Sacramento River within the boundaries of the Delta. The district appealed the permit, and it has now gone to the State Water Resources Control Board. And members, you'll, re you'll recall that uh, the council had weighed in by supporting, I believe it was the nutrient-related recommendations mm -hmm. of the Regional Water Board to be applied to the Sacramento Regional Sanitation District. And... Uh, that's what we're talking about. Right. So the State Water Resources Control Board has developed a proposed order um, that affirms a majority of the Central Valley Board's permit. Uh, the administrative record reveals an effort made by the Central Valley Board staff to understand and study the delta, and as a result, the permit contains several new or more stringent limitations um, and requirements which specifically address pathogens, ammonia, and nitrates, which all pose substantial human health risks and can contribute to an altered ecology in the Delta. Um, this issue is relevant to the Delta plan, as um, Mr. Eisenberg pointed out, because we already had weighed in um, back in June of 2012 regarding these issues, um, and also because it relates to our co-equal goals of providing a more reliable water supply for California and protecting, restoring, and enhancing the Delta ecosystem. The increased ammonia and nitrates in the water affects drinking water exported from the Delta, as well as fish and other aquatic life that rely on the Delta ecosystem. So the effluent standards affirmed in the State Water Resources Control Board's proposed order align with the Council's efforts to promote these co-equal goals. Um, the Sacramento District had filed suit back um, against the Central Valley Water Board back in 2010, 2011. Um, and they agree to postpone action on the suit until the State Water Resources Control Board adopts their final order, which will likely take place December 4th at their next meeting, um, and we'll continue to monitor that case and provide updates. Uh, is, has an announcement been made as to whether the Regional Sanitation District is going to seek an injunction halting the, uh, implement, the enforcement of the order, assuming it's made in December, pending a court appeal? I think they've already um, applied for a writ of mandate, okay. I think is what it was, yeah. All right, Don? We're not going to disclose our legal strategy until we know what we're going to do, right? <laughs> you got to turn your microphone. No. Supervisor yeah, Natoli no. wants to talk about the secret <laughs> legal strategy of the Regional Sanitation District. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much. 